If you wanna reduce the temperature, reduce the power consumption, maybe even stop the card from overheating and make it much quieter on your RTX 4070 Ti while keeping the same performance or depending on how you do it, even increase the performance a little bit, this is the right tutorial. Today, we're gonna be showing you how to undervolt your RTX 4070 Ti. And the one we're gonna be using here is the Gigabyte Aero model in white. So let's get straight into it. For the tutorial, you will need two softwares. One is Heaven Benchmark, the other one is MSI Afterburner. You will find them in the description. This tutorial will work for every RTX 4070 Ti out there. Doesn't matter the model, and it will also work for the upcoming RTX 4070. So let's get to work. Now I have also connected a watt meter to my PC, so I can show you in real time the power savings. We are starting at around 350 watts. Now let's see what you have to do. The first thing is gonna be to open up Heaven Benchmark in windowed mode and let it run in the background as we are doing right now. Then you wanna open up MS Afterburner as we are doing here, go on settings and unlock the voltage control, voltage monitoring, and then hit apply. At this point, you will be in this exact situation and you wanna go over on curve editor and click on it. This will pull up the clock to voltage curve of your card. At this point, follow these steps closely. First of all, you wanna unlock the power limit and temperature limit to the max. We'll talk about why later. Then you wanna go on the core clock slider right there and hit minus 350. Then hit enter, but do not hit apply. Then go over here on your curve. And as you can see, it will have lowered a bit. Now you wanna go over it and grab the 900 millivolt voltage point right there. And then you wanna bring it up all the way to 2550, okay? Exactly that. It can be 2500 and uh, of course 49, it can be 51, but around there, okay? 2550 right there. At this point, you wanna hit apply. The tutorial is already finished. We can see by taking a look at the watt meter that it dropped dramatically the power consumption, but our performance has actually stayed the same. Now, in case this crashes for you, you might want to lower it a bit to 2500 if your card is a bit unlucky. If your card is very lucky and you want to test it out a bit better, some cards can do 2600 on 900 millivolt. Now, a couple extra tips if you're still here. If you wanna get three to 5% more performance without increasing the power consumption, you can go on memory clock and put a 1000 megahertz offset. Hit enter, hit apply, and now we will also have our memory. One gigahertz higher, which is also pretty nice. So at this point, I will also give you a couple extra recommendations in case you wanna uh, finger with it a bit more. But this is basically it, so you can already close the tutorial. But if you do wanna have even less power consumption, you need to use less millivolt. So in this case, around 850 millivolt. But by going lower, you will have to drop your core clock. For example, you will have to drop it for 850 millivolt to 2400 megahertz. That will result in a bit of a performance loss, but since this is a very powerful card, you can do it. Uh, while still having a very good gaming experience and save the extra power and temperature, okay? So I can recommend it. Then, if you really wanna, you can push the memory a bit more and test it out, but that is not gonna give you as much gains. So I, I actually think it's not really uh, useful. So this is it. I have many more tutorials on how to undervolt your CPUs or even overclock your CPUs and GPUs. But of course, in 2023, undervolting is much better than overclocking, guys. Remember it. And you will find them on the channel where I also do some cool builds, like the one you can see on the back here. I take a look at cool things like this portable monitor here. So just in case you might want to take, go take a look at it, but I really hope this was helpful. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.